So 10 out of 10, would recommend. It's gonna be a blast. What's up you all, it's Nina, your fellow student videographer, coming to you to give you some ways you can maximize your wellness days. You're on your laptop, going to class, doing homework. Go outside and play, channel your inner child again. Going back to that carefree attitude and embracing it can do wonders while also making us more balanced adults. Or rest, there may be days you don't feel like doing anything and that's perfectly fine because guess what? That's a way to recharge as well. Kick your feet up, sleep all day. It's your day off, enjoy it. This is a great way to de-stress and make yourself feel good. One thing I like to do is take a face mask and let that sit on my face for about 15 minutes. And while I'm waiting, I get some cucumbers and put them over my eyes just to hydrate them and the skin around them. With my spa days, I even pay attention to my feet by using an exfoliating scrub and a foot scrubber just to make sure all those dead skin cells are off so my feet are super smooth. If you have some free time, you should try helping others. It's a great feeling knowing you're helping someone in need. Volunteering could teach you a lot, connect you with people, and possibly advance you in your career as well. Check out the Mary Ellen Brando Volunteer Center on Engage Central and see what upcoming opportunities they might have. If you're one of those people who feel like you can just conquer the world after cleaning your room, then this one might be at the top of your list. Cleaning your space and throwing away things you haven't touched or thought about in a while can give you a feeling of freedom and a clear mind to focus on what's important. The CMU Counseling Center is having a Wellness Days Declutter Challenge, so make sure you head over to their social media page if you want to find out more. Hobbies are really nice to have. On top of relieving stress, they could boost your creativity, give you a sense of purpose, and allow you to explore yourself and your capabilities. To give you some ideas, I enjoy playing the drum set and painting. These allow me to express myself freely and give me something to jam to. Try something you love or something you've never done before, but just make sure it's fun and it sparks your interest. Wellness is not always about relaxing and taking a break, but also a time to reconnect with yourself and find out what you want out of life. What makes you happy? What motivates you? Where do you want to be in life and how will you get there? Thinking about these things, writing them down, and setting personal goals for yourself will surely give you a boost of energy and direction. Is there something you've been meaning to do but constantly pushing it back day by day because you don't have the time? Well, this is your motivation to go do it. This could be grocery shopping, applying for graduation, or even scheduling an appointment with an advisor. Taking the time to do these things that sit in the back of your mind can help you feel productive, less stressed, and re-energized. As for me, I'm taking back some items that didn't really work out. They've been sitting in my trunk for quite a while, so I think it's time. Be sure to follow the Counseling Center for more information on how to recharge.